Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm SMATX. Today we have a very interesting and great relaxing algebra question, 1 to the x plus 10 to the x equal to 100 to the power x, and right now, right now let's solve it. First of all, here is the main thing, 1 to the x, let's rewrite it, this 1 to the x right here. Right now we are talking about real numbers, so in terms of real numbers, 1 to the x equal to 1, we don't know what will happen in complex numbers, but in terms of real numbers, 1 to the power 100, 1 to the power 200, 1000, 1 million, equal to, equal to 1. So in terms of real numbers, we are talking about 1 to the x equal to equal to 1. So in terms of real numbers, of course, 1 to the power infinity, but we, right now we don't interested about it, we are talking about real numbers. So 1 to the x equal to 1. As a result, what do we have right here? We will have 1 plus 10 to the x, yeah, plus 10 to the x equal to equal to 100 to the power x, okay, equal to 100 to the power x, and here is our equation right now. And let's solve it. First of all, instead of this 100, we can easily write uh, like uh, 10 square, yeah, this is like a basic, uh, basic uh, square, yeah, so right here we have 1, 1 plus, we have 10 to the x, 10 to the power x, equal to 10 square, so instead of 100, we're gonna write this 10 square to the power x. And right now it's really great to know about rule of interchange. This is like a basic power rule, this power rule looks like that. So when we have a to the power m raised to the power n, as a result we can write it as a to the power m times n. Yeah, this is uh, absolutely understandable right now, we can easily multiply it, but in the same way we can easily write it as a to the power n times m. So, okay, we can easily swap these values because we have multiplication, so it doesn't matter. m times n, n times m, we have absolutely the same thing, but in the same way we can easily write it as a to the power n raised to the power n. Because of this equal sign we can easily swap this position so we can easily swap these both values, so in this case let's swap this 2 and x, so that's why I write this rule, so let's do this right now. So as a result what do we have? 1 plus 10 to the power x equal to 10 to the power x, we're gonna square it, don't forget about this, we're gonna swap these, these two values. Right now let's write a substitution, because we have 10 to the x right here, we have 10 to the x right here, so it's better for us to write our, our substitution. So let's do this right now, let's write our, our substitution. As a result what do we have? So let 10 to the x equal to, for example, let's go with, with y. And here is the main thing, y need to be positive, because we're talking about exponential function and the values of exponential function is always positive. So here's the main thing, y is greater than zero. As a result, what equation we will have? We will have the next thing, we will have one, let's do this, we will have one plus y, one plus y, equal to, right here we have y square, and it looks like a basic quadratic equation. So right now let's bring all of the thing from, from left to right, and as a result we will have a basic quadratic equation. So let's do this right now. So we have y square, y square minus y, minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Basic quadratic equation. From here what do we know? We know that a equal to a equal to 1, b equal to minus 1, and c equal to minus 1. Basic, basic knowledge. Right now let's find our discriminant, or right now let's plug in instantly, let's plug in these uh, elements into our, our formula, so we have y first and second, y first and second equal to, and here's our formula, we have minus b plus minus square root of discriminant, which is equal to b square minus 4ac, and all over we're gonna divide it by, by 2a. Okay, right now, what do we have as a result? y first and y second, y first and second equal to minus minus 1, so equal to 1 plus minus, square root of discriminant, so b square, so one minus 1 square equal to 1, 1 minus 4 times a times 1 and times c times minus 1, okay? And we divide all of the thing by, by 2 by 2 times 1, actually, yeah, because we have 2a, a equal to 1. And this is equal to, let's do that, so we have 1, 1 plus minus square root of, right here, what do we have? We have 1 plus 4 equal to 5, and we divide all of the thing by, by 2. And right now, if you look closely, we have mm, our answer, but in the beginning we had that y need to be positive. So we're talking about two cases. The first case, we are talking about y first, right here, so we have y first equal to, let's go with the, the positive sign, so with the plus sign we have 1 plus square root of 5 
over 2. And we also have y second. y second equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over over 2. And I hope this is absolutely understandable for you that this value is great for us because this value is positive. We have positive numerator, positive denominator. And right here we have a negative because 1 minus right here we have 2 point something. So this is negative divided by positive. This value is is negative. So y second is rejected. Okay, so right here we have, we reject this um, y, y second. We're talking about, about y first, but y equal to 10 to the x. So we'll have an um, um, equation. So from here, what do we have? y equal to, y equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Yeah. And but, we're going to write but, 10 to the x equal to y, yeah, 10 to the x equal to y. So as a result, we will have like exponential equation, 10 to the x, yeah, we have like right here, we have 10 to the x equal to 1 plus square root of 5 over, 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. And right now, let's solve it. First of all, let's uh, apply a log on both sides. Doesn't matter what it is, let's apply log on both, on both sides. As a result, we will have log, right here, we have 10 to the x equal to log of this expression on the on the right side. So we have 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2. All right. Right now, this x will come down right here because this is like the main log property. And of course, that's why we apply in this log. We just need this x in the front of this, of this log. So as a result, we have x <coughs> log 10, x log 10 equal to log 1 plus square root of 5 over over 2. Right now let's divide both sides by this by this log 10. Yeah, so we're gonna divide it and as a result we'll have our looks like final answer. Let's do this right now. So we have x equal to uh, right here. Here is the tricky move because <clears throat> in terms of like math we can easily uh, write the log of a division as log of uh, like log division as log of subtraction. So we can write it as for example we have log a over b we can write it as log a, log a minus log b. Okay, this is, I hope you, you know this uh, property, you know this rule. So right now let's apply this rule right here. So as a result, we have log in our numerator, log 1 plus square root of 5. Uh, in our numerator, we're going to divide it. So in terms of like a log, we're going to subtract. So minus log 2 minus log 2. And we divide all of the thing by log 10 by log 10. <coughs> by log 10. And right now here is like the alternative way how can we solve because in terms of like reducing log, uh, reducing um, this, uh, when we do, when we write this uh, subtraction as in terms of division, we can easily write it in, in this way. So when we reduced uh, this <coughs> log, we'll have in our numerator, we'll have log, right here we have one half because of these two and we, because of this subtraction, we have like one half. And in the second parenthesis, we have 1 plus square root of 5, 1 plus square root of 5, all right? And we're going to divide it by log, <coughs> by log 10, by log, log 10. And this is our answer. Both ways are, are correct. And of course, if you're interested in approximately answer, so x approximately equal, x approximately equal to 0. 0.2. 2009. This is our answer in terms of like approximately answer. And right now I'm going to show you a, a second approach in terms of complex numbers. So right now let's look at this in this way. How can we uh, find this complex solution? Right. So we solve this question in terms of like y first, in terms of like uh, positive y. And this is great. We solve this question in terms of real numbers. But right now let's look what will happen when we solve this question in terms of this rejected y second. So in terms of real numbers, obviously we can't talk about real number solution because this one is not good for us because y need to be positive. But right now let's try to solve this exponential equation and let's see what complex rules. Maybe we'll have like complex solutions to this question. Okay, so y second equal to 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So here is our, uh, our equation. So right now we are talking about complex solutions. So right now let's try to solve this exponential equation. But I don't need to, uh, I don't want to waste your time. Right here I plug in this question in the internet library and I get two complex solutions. So we have like x second equal to, right here we have 2i pi n plus i pi plus i pi plus log square root of 5 minus 1, square root of 5 minus 1 and minus log 2. 
minus log 2 and we divide all of the thing by log 2 as you can see complicated complicated root but this is a complex one in terms of like 99 percent of um, of cases you don't need this complex root but maybe someone interested right here you can easily see this complex complex solution so plus log 5 this is x second and of course if you're interested right here we also have like x third if you plug in this question in internet library you will also get um two roots so we have two i pi n plus log 5 plus log 1 plus square root of 5 and minus log 2 and we're going to divide it by by log 2 plus log 5 log 2 log 2 plus log log 5 and of course n is z okay so right here this is our two two solutions two roots in terms of like second case we have two two complex root but of course in terms of like 99 percent of cases we're interested in the real number root so our answer our answer also uh, our answer is uh, these two roots uh, obviously but uh, we can easily write our uh, real number root so x equal to x equal to what we had in the beginning log one half 1 plus square root of 5 yeah 1 plus square root of 5 and we divide it by log by log 10 okay and from here x is approximately equal to 0 0.209 this is our answer to our question right now we can see a graph you can see this point of intersection so which is also which is also really great so this is my solution to this question i hope you understand it i hope you learn something new a great and in the same way a tricky a tricky solution because we we mm, have a tricky solution in the beginning tricky moment we have one to the x and we wrote that this is equal to one and we have basic quadratic equation so here's our solution in terms of real numbers and we also have two complex complex solutions so this is my explanation to this question i hope you learned something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong if you need help with any of these classes i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel i have a lot of questions so i hope you will enjoy it thank you everyone for your time see you in the next videos and have a great day